Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to watch the video. And I've got a really good secret springtime tip I'm going to pass along with you guys today. We're catching spotted bass, Kentucky bass, that type of stuff. It'll catch largemouth and smallmouth too, but it's really a deal if you've got a lake that's got a lot of spotted bass in it. In this time of year when those fish are close to spawning, uh, right before the spawn, during the spawn, and just after the spawn, in my opinion, this is the number one way to catch big spotted bass uh, this time of year. So I'm going to show you guys what it is. I'm going to show you how to rig it up and talk a little bit about how to fish it. And um, real quick, just I'll remind you guys that um, one of the best ways to support the channel about the stuff that I'm talking about here, if you want to order any of the components, um, if you go through the Baitworks link in the description here, that's a great way to, to help the channel out here. And, uh, and they're great people to deal with, man. These guys that own bait works and boat works both, man. They all fish, tournament fishermen, uh, just the greatest guys in the world. So it's uh, good to support a company that supports fishermen too. Okay, guys, let's talk about this. Um, this deal that I'm talking about, it's called the split shot peed. And this is a sort of an old school technique. It's been around a long time. I know it has here in the Ozarks. It's sort of like uh, not, not well known around a lot of other parts of the country. But man, guys, I'm telling you right now, I have just, I can't even count how many bass that I've caught in April and May on this technique on lakes that have spotted bass in them. Um, I, you know, I fish them around here a lot in the Ozark lakes, but I've used it successfully on Lake Norman in North Carolina. I've caught them at Lake Douglas on it. I've caught them at uh, Cumberland on it. I've caught them at Lake Lanier on it. Um, just, it's just a great way to catch them this time of year. So anyway, the first thing we're going to start out with is a uh, offset hook. Uh, this is a uh, two number. This is a two watt Gamagatsu G Finesse hybrid uh, worm hook. Um, it's a real light wire hook. For this technique, you want a light wire hook. So I'll use a number one or number two hook in it. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you first. I'll, I'll rig the worm up first on it. Um, this is a Zoom Centipede, guys. I have experimented with. Um, about every type of soft plastic that you can get. And the centipede is the number one bait in my opinion. And of course, you know, never forget to rough it up. That's always a big deal. Sometimes also, if the water visibility is like a little off colored or if it's cloudy or rainy out, I'll just put a little, just a little puff of chartreuse right on the stinger part of it there. Not very much, just a little bit. That seems to help. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how to rig it up then we'll get to the important part of it. But I usually just come through, you know, like a quarter of an inch or so. And uh, one of the big keys on this centipede is you want to come through all the way on it, completely like this, where the hook is actually setting flat on it and the point is not in the plastic. You don't want the point in the plastic. Just keep it flush with the top like that. Because this is important because I'm throwing this thing on six and eight contest line. So you don't have the power to penetrate this much plastic. So if you put it just along the top like that, when that fish bites it, it just separates and you get the hook point in it really good like that. Another tip that I can give you on this is before you fish it, slide the thing back and forth a bunch of times and it sort of makes a channel in there a little bit more and it, it makes that hook up better. But even if you expose it like that, guys, it's super, super weedless. Okay, the next thing I do is I'm gonna take a 3 16 ounce slip sinker here. And uh, I'm just going to put it on there to show you how to rig it there. 3 16 is what I prefer most all the time. It seems like um, the weight on the 3 16 allows you to fish a variety of depths. I can fish 5 to 20 foot deep on it. And what I want to do is I want to leave about, about a foot of distance there, about 12 inches. Um, that's, that's usually what I go to. Then I'll peg it with a toothpick. You want to peg it where it doesn't stop. I mean, you could you could use a bobber stopper down there or something, but you want it stationary. You don't want it uh, leaving. So you got this is your setup here. This is a split shot rig. It's almost like a Carolina rig without the barrel swivel on it. It's sort of like a finesse Carolina rig. But guys, this right here, I'm telling you right now, for spotted bass in the springtime, you cannot beat it. When those fish are bedding, close to bedding, or just off the beds, it's, it's not, if, if I go down to Tabor Rock with this thing in April, if I don't catch 50 bass in a day, it's a bad day. I mean, they just will bite it like crazy when those fish are sitting on there. So what you want to look for in this thing 
is one of the keys. Oh yeah, and I've got one more thing. I got the red fingernail polish. Um, one of the things I do I do on this thing here too is I will take red fingernail polish and I'll paint that sink or red for whatever reason. Painting it red acts as an attractor. So you want that's a, another little tip that I can give on the setup there. Okay, let's talk a little bit about where you want to look for it on this. One of the biggest uh, mistakes I see a lot of guys make when they're fishing for spotted bass in the springtime of the year is they don't fish deep enough. Guys, if you have water visibility, and it, it's if you got water visibility like over three or four feet in the lake you're fishing, spotted bass, the bigger ones, will bed deep. They will bed out of sight most of the time. Down, you know, to 15 or 20 feet, if the water's clear enough, I've seen them in that on real clear days. So what you want to look for on this is these spotted bass with this technique, you're not fishing traditional spawning type areas. You're fishing almost areas that you think that they would be staging in. So what I'm looking for, and this is like a secret I'm giving away here, I haven't told this before, is take, for example, in the lake that you fish, if you've got a spawning cove. So you've got a flatter cove where, you know, the fish, you know, normally spawn in the back end of it. Come out to the main part of the cove, whether it be a main lake or the creek or whatever, and fish that bank that's leading into the cove. So actually, if you've got a cove that has a point on both ends of it, fish the main lake bank leading to that point leading into the cove. That's where a lot of those bigger spotted bass will spawn a lot of times and they will definitely be there in the pre-spawn. Now, sometimes I'll go into the coves, you know, the spawning coves themselves and I'll back out and I'll fish like, you know, 10 or 15 feet deep. Even if I see some fish bedding up on the bank, I'll move back out and, and hit that 10 to 15 foot zone with the split shot rig. That's just, that's just where those bigger spotted bass live right there. So I say, for example, down at Tabor Rock and you know, if you, if you go into a cove where you can see fish bedding on the bank and you see nests, I have caught so many bass in 20 foot of water when those fish are bedding on the split shot rig. And I know a lot of those spotted bass are bedding. This normally starts working good when that water temperature starts to get 56, 57, 58. And it'll also work up until that water temperature hits about 70 because those same fish that are spawning in those coves will move back out to those same areas and you can catch them coming and going both. So anyway, guys, give it a try. This is one of the one of my big secrets. We've talked about a little bit before, but it doesn't get fished enough. Split shot rig, get you some zoom peds, uh, you know, the G-Finesse uh, hybrid worm hook, light hook, allow the bait to float up good. Put your 3 16th ounce sinker on it and peg it. Uh, six to eight pound test line. And I can promise you, you guys will have a ball fishing it this spring. It's probably working right now. A lot of places around the country so hope it helps you catch a few guys man just please hit that subscribe button if you uh you like this tip and think it's going to hit it man the only the only thing i ask is you hit that subscribe button that'd be much appreciated so we'll talk to y'all later